cracking with a YouTube. It's your boy Ant Diesel. What up? Tired of shit. Just got off of work. 10 hour day. Out here getting. Wanted to talk about the shooting that happened at the Waffle House, at a Waffle House out in Tennessee. I told you so. I hate that I was right in this instance, but I knew it was gonna happen. If you look back at my video, I'll show you the title right here. If you look back at that video, I mentioned the fact that the shootings were gonna get more and more petty. Now this gentleman was alleged to have sat out in a car for two hours. Who the fuck sits outside a Waffle House for two hours across the street? You guessed it, somebody who doesn't mean well. Then this asshole goes and shoots two people that were having, that were outside the Waffle House, then went into the Waffle House and opened fire with a semi-automatic AR-15 that was given to him after his guns were lawfully taken away from him because he had issues with the FBI. They were given to his uncle, father, some family member, a male in his family, two of them were given back to him by that family member. He should be tried as a accessory to the crime. It is said that four people are dead. Four people died, a whole bunch of people got shot. He went in there and opened fire and acted a smooth fool. And then once his gun jammed, he was wrestled to the ground gentleman took the gun from him and threw it behind the uh the the bar the counter was about to jump in his ass and the, gym, the the naked man the naked shooter jumps up and flees the scene if his gun didn't jam it was said that they're believing that he would have kept on with the mayhem that he was trying to ensue on to unassuming people that were just doing nothing but eating their, their waffles, minding their own damn business. Understand this, when I go out to dinner with my wife, I do not sit with my back to the entrance and I'm always armed, always. You can ask my wife, I don't. If he would've walked into a restaurant I was sitting in, he would've met, you know, the other end of a barrel shooting back at his ass. Four people wouldn't have died and there wouldn't be a whole bunch of people in the hospital with bullet wounds. Guarantee you that shit. In that interview that they had with the police officer, they made a point to, to mention the fact that there was a school five miles away. Now I live in a little small ass Fairbanks, Alaska. It's literally a big box. The gun range that I go to, the outdoor range is probably about five miles from a school. The indoor range that I don't frequent because I can't shoot my anything above 45 ACP, half a mile away from my daughter's school, because only law-abiding citizens go to an indoor range or you know a range, because there's a lot of law-abiding citizens out there that will light their motherfucking ass up if they came out this bitch sideways. I told you so. It's gonna get pettier and pettier, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna wait and see what the motive was because they still haven't mentioned what the motive was. I'm gonna anticipate that it's something really fucking retarded. And if that happens, I'm gonna start, my, my, my PayPal information is in the description box. And if I'm right in the fact that it's gonna be a petty ass reason that he shot up a Waffle House, people doing nothing but minding their own business, I'm gonna start telling people their damn future. I'll go ahead and y'all just hit me up in the comments, ask me, yo, aunt, what's my future? And then hit me with $10 in the PayPal and we can get a little lucrative business cracking. We're gonna wait for this. We're gonna wait for the reason that he shot up the Waffle House. His girlfriend worked there. She didn't return his text message. He told him he couldn't use the fucking restroom. 
in the uh, in the store without buying a waffle. You know, some ignorant little lame bullshit. I'm anticipating it's gonna be really fucking petty. So with that said, don't study my moves, just check my footwork. Peace. <laughs>